Please on the stage, Greg Otto. All right, great to be here. This is my favorite show, uh, Comedy Time. And um, I watch it all the time on the radio. All right, how are you? All right, good. Do a lot of traveling with this job and stay in some skanky hotels. You ever notice the worse the hotel, the, the smaller the soap? <laughs> I'm like lathering up with a chiclet. <laughs> Look at that sud. The label says luxury bar. Oh, that is nice. I'm on holiday. I've had to do some shows at some weird places, boy. I had to do a show at a monastery once. Yeah, Monk actually broke a 20-year vow of silence just to yell out, You suck! I don't need that. But this is a cool job. A friend of mine has like the worst job in the world. This is true, he sells telephones over the phone. You know, I think pretty much if you can answer the phone, you don't really need this guy, do you? It'd be like, hello? Oh, never mind. You're covered, all right, cool. He's got a new job selling doorbells door to door. Things are happening for this guy. People have been saying stupid stuff to me lately. I was at a store the other day, some guy who works here says to me, you're more than welcome. I'm more than welcome. Hey, and thank you to the second power. <laughs> thank ye thrice. <laughs> have you ever had someone come up to you and say, excuse me, do you have the correct time? <laughs> the correct time? No, I've got noon tomorrow, pal. <laughs> Mom watches 17 hours fast for no apparent reason. Yeah, I've got the completely wrong time. <laughs> it's not even close. Can I trouble you for the month? <laughs> also, I hate people, if you ask them what time it is, they say, oh, it's about three o'clock. Oh, you're a big help, I can guess too. <laughs> now we can launch the shuttle, it's about, he says it's about three. about people who say, is it hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> it's you. When you leave, the temperature drops 10 degrees. <laughs> How do you do that? You're good. <laughs> You're very good. My brother's always saying that. Does it stink in here or is it just me? <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> People always say they're gonna hop in the shower. I'm gonna hop in the shower. You never hop anywhere else, do you? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hop into this IRS audit. <sighs> people say a lot of dumb things. Money can't buy happiness. This, of course, a myth perpetuated by poor people to give them reason for living. Kind of like that other one, looks aren't that important? Yeah, well, ugly's not let's crack that to be either. <laughs> Hope I didn't offend any poor, ugly IRS agents that might be in the crowd. I'm not looking for trouble. You ever been in a supercuts from these skanky haircutting places? You walk in, what's the first thing they say to you? How may I help you? <laughs> it's a haircutting place. You had like some firewood. My car's making a funny noise. Come check it out, will you? <laughs> Bring the blow dryer. There could be trouble. <laughs> then you leave. They have the nerve to say, have a nice day. Have a nice day? You just screwed up my month. What are you talking about? <laughs> have a nice day in June when this grows out. <laughs> I will see you in court. <laughs> yeah, I'll be the guy wearing a hat. You hurt my feelings. <laughs> oh, 
was at the mall the other day doing a little shopping. One of those expensive men's stores. Saw a pair of men's shoes on sale. $485 for a pair of shoes. You know, you see a great buy like this. And you gotta stop and think to yourself, do I really want to pay $485 for a pair of shoes? Or I want to go to pay less and buy 485 pairs of shoes? Hmm. How about a pair of shoes? They put like this little deodorant thing on one of the shoes. It says, throw away, do not eat. <laughs> well, you know me, I'll eat pretty much anything I find in a shoe. <laughs> There's some good eating in there. Don't put, those, don't put those boots on, Ted, it's snack time. Those are yummy and fat free. You ever notice everything fat free is also delicious free? You ever been at the store at the mall with the, sh the sharper image with the sell the goofy expensive gadgets and stuff? Has anyone ever actually bought a thing in this place? No, you just go in, you mess around with stuff, something breaks, you leave, right? <laughs> they sell an underwater pen at the sharper image. Okay, now we have to wait for somebody to invent underwater paper. <laughs> Who are you writing to underwater that's so important? <laughs> Help, I'm drowning! It's like, yeah, right? <laughs> Bought a shirt, it's got this label, it says wash separately. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. <laughs> Guys never wash anything separately, right? I'll wash a white silk shirt along with a sleeping bag and some ice skates. <laughs> I've got so much stuff crammed into the washer. There's like a cup of water in the whole washer. <laughs> Stuff's coming out, it's already dry. Then the label says, never needs ironing. Yeah, never needs ironing if you don't mind looking like a wino. <laughs> I was using, using some detergent. The label says, harmful or fatal if swallowed. Well, which is it? <laughs> I need to make some plans. <laughs> Am I gonna die or feel bad for a few days? Do I pay next month's rent? <laughs> Some stupid labels on things. I noticed a label on Tylenol it says you shouldn't take Tylenol if you have more than three alcoholic drinks a day. Hey, that's why I'm taking Tylenol. <laughs> you guys have been fun. That's my time. Thanks so much. I'm Greg Otto.